Today, we're in the Lake District. We're slowly making our way along the side of the lake towards Patterdale to start our walk. In front of us and to our left, we've got Ullswater. That's where we're going to walk, round that hill. We're going to make our way towards Patterdale now. As we make our way towards Patterdale, we'll take one or two quick shots of the lake. And we'll be coming down that side somewhere. We're just at the side of the road. As you can see, it's a beautiful spot. And that's looking to the other side of the road. Little farmhouse there, just in the bottom of the valley. Loads of tiny lambs. So we've made our way to the Patterdale Hotel car park. We're going to walk up to Place Fell and make it around. So we head forward now across the bottom of the car park and turn left onto the road. So we walk by the White Lion post box and shop on your right hand side, heading forward. On your right hand side, just at the back of the White Lion car park, you've got toilets and that. So we head forward a couple hundred yards and turn left there over the tiny river bridge. Just as we're gonna turn into the, over the bridge, we see a couple of goose sanders there, look. Well, we'll leave them for now. As we walk towards the bridge, we notice there's free parking for about five cars on our right hand side. So, if you're going to do this, you'll have to be here early. As we cross over the little bridge, let's just give you a shot of the hills in the back. So we just keep heading forward down the tiny track. In the background, you've got Place Fell. That's where we're going. We're just making our way towards the tiny little village or hamlet of Rookin. There can't be 20 or 30 houses there. We just keep following the road for about another 100 yards and that bears off to our left. As we head forward, we look to the tiny little lambs in the field on our left hand side. Got one there, look, having a feed. He's probably only about a week old, if that. Just having a little feed there, Janice. Little tail going there, look. <laughs> yeah, number three. Tiny. Well, we'll make that do for now. Yeah, they're not very old, aren't these lambs? Just before we turn left, we'll take a quick shot to our right in Rookin. <laughs> Beautiful place. As you turn left, the signpost says Bordell Horse and Side Farm. Head forward uphill for about 100 yards. You'll see a gate across the track. We turn through the right-hand gate, uphill. Signpost says, Angle Tarn, Bordale Horse. So you can see the track there. 
Zigging and zagging, off to your right, uphill. We're starting to climb pretty steeply now. That's the shot looking back towards Patterdale. Looks pretty good. Well, we'll keep going. Quarter to 11, there's a fair few up there already. But they're just on the steep bit at the top, as you can see. We've got some height now, and we look back again. We can see Olds Water and Glenridden. Sun's just starting to come out on the hills, so we might be lucky today. In front of us, I think we've got Brothers Water on our right hand side. And we've got two or three farms down below on our right. Well, we're about three quarters of the way up now. And uh, it's pretty steep. We've got Patterdale on our left and in front we've got Ullswater and Glenridden just at the back. We just keep heading uphill, there's a bit of like mine workings on your right. We've got a cairn in front of us. We just walk to the left hand side of the cairn and then the track bears off to your left. So you'll follow the path coming round to your left hand side and that's where we're going. That ziggy zaggy path up to the top. We'll be back to you when we get there. Well it's a long way to the top but uh, we're slowly getting there. We thought we'd just give you a quick shot of the hills on our way up. As you can see it's getting pretty steep near the top but we're getting there. We're not quite at the top but we're not so far off and uh, the sun's come out down below so you know a good excuse to take a little breather and give you a look at these fantastic Lakeland Hills. We just look behind us and I think that'll just let you see that uh, it's pretty steep but worth it. The views are getting better and better the higher we're going. We're not far off top now. We'll keep going. Well we think that might be the top. Let's go and have a look. As you can see this is a bit of a scramble to the top there look. We're still not at the top. But we've only got a short way to go now. We've just got to follow that little track there. And in the distance we can see the high point. We should be there in a few minutes, hopefully. We're stood in shadow at the moment, but look at the sun down below. Fantastic. We just keep heading forward, slightly breezy up here, which you'd expect. Well, we made it up that little bit. And we see we've a bit more ahead of us. We're just following the path. But we've more or less brought it back now, look. When we get there, we have got to the top. Well, as you can see, we've made it to the top. We've just been sat in the front of there, having a drink, just out of the breeze. It's nice and sunny. We look behind. You can see where we've come up. That's the view in front of you. Fantastic, is that? Down below we've got Glenridden. And then just further up the valley, you can see the old mine workings. In the distance you've got Ullswater and Pooley Bridge. We're slowly making our way down past a little town. As we make our way down, we take another shot over Ullswater. Lovely sunny day up here, slight breeze on, but quite warm. Let's keep going. As we pass the town on our way down, we think we'll just have a quick shot. It's beautiful up here. We're starting to drop pretty fast now. I can see a boat on Ull's water. Let's just give you a shot behind to our right hand side before we lose any more height. Sun's out, look at that. Well, we'll keep going. We just keep making our way downhill. 
In front of us we see a sheepfold. We walk by the side of it and then turn immediate left, going downhill. Just before we start to drop down to Ullswater, let's just give you a little look at the hills on our left. We're dropping down, we can see, we've actually got a tree up here. And just to the right of there, there's a tiny sheepfold. But we're just following the path, look. Making our way down towards Ullswater. As we make our way downhill, bearing slightly right, we see what looks like the remains of an old slate quarry there, look. The spoil heap just above in the little building down below where the sheep are. We're round the other side now. It looks as if this has been built to give the miners some protection from the weather. And then we look into the quarry there. And if we look closely, we can see there's a tiny little waterfall just coming out the sort of rock face there. And then disappearing into the ground. We just keep heading forward. We make our way downhill, the path splits into two. Just more or less as you see Ull's water, but just keep heading straight on down towards the lake. As we make our way downhill, we look to our left hand side and this is our first waterfall today. It's just below the tree, maybe two or three hundred yards. Obviously there's a little spring run by there. We'll keep going. Just to our right we've got the mother ewe and her little lamb. We're only about 10 foot away, they're very tame. Then just a bit further down the stream, we've got another tiny little waterfall. It's about, I don't know, 20, 30 foot long. Then we've got another waterfall here. It's about 80 foot long. It's not very wide, but it's certainly very nice. Well, I think that's nice. You've got the sheep and the couple of lambs keeping in the shade just next to the waterfall. It's beautiful is this. Well, you certainly need your camera. Look at that for a view in the afternoon sunshine. It's fantastic. We can see a couple of boats at the other end. Well, I think we've got one of the ferries here. We're going to make our way down to the bottom. If we turn right, We could head towards the ferry and take that back. But we're gonna turn left and walk back. We've made our way down to the bottom. We're turning left over the little stream now. We're following the wall at the other side. We've made our way up to the corner. And as we look forward, I think that's a great shot, is that? So we take it. The views are fantastic, that's all I can say. Well, we keep going. Well, it's quarter past four. And we can see the ferry there, look on the lake. We can see the people there, there's a fair uh, few on. And we've got two of them crossing there, look. As you can see, the path is quite near the water's edge. So you've got some great views and plenty of height. We're just following a little stone path through the trees. We look down below. We've got a boat towing a load of canoes behind it. Then we walk forward another 20 feet. Look at that for a view. Absolutely stunning, is that? Well, we'll keep going. It's the hottest part of the day now, but there's a nice gentle breeze coming up from the lake. It looks quite nice as you walk along with all the little ferns just unfolding. Really sort of tight leaves on them there. Well, we're just heading forward now, slightly uphill. We'll soon be at the headland. 
We've come to the headland now, and if we look to our left, just to the left hand side of the tree and the sloping ground, we can see there's a couple of people walking there on the path. Let's have a look. And we follow the path round to the right and then it swings off left. You know, just basically following the lake. As you come round the corner, get your camera out, just take a look at this for a view. And as you can see, we're still following the path. But as you can see, nothing's for nothing. Every time you go up and get a great view, you've got to go down again and back up the other side. It's beautiful though. Well, we're slowly making our way towards Patterdale now. It's not that far. We should come round a bend eventually and spot it. As we walk along, we'll give you a quick shot to our right now. You can see a couple of boats just over the wall, just below the hillside. That's a great shot, is that? Well, we'll leave that for now. We just keep following the track. We're not far off now. We're still following the wall, and the steep hillside is pretty impressive in the evening sunshine. We pass the campsite on our right-hand side, I'm just taking these few quick shots on our way back because it was just slightly misty this morning. We keep heading forward. As we make our way back towards Side Farm, we look to our left hand side. We've got a waterfall with like a water tank sat at the top there. It's about 20 feet. Well, we've made it back to the farm. We turn right through the farm. Follow the track over the bridge, turn left and we're back to our car park. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Lake District. You've been walking with a taxi driver today. <laughs>